Okay, I've been asked a few questions about how to um, put together the coil on the Bedini motor. I should have mentioned that in my videos, but uh, I forgot. So, a few things you're going to need. You're going to need two spools of wire. One of these will be the 22 and one of them will be the 26, or whatever gauge wire you can actually get your hands on. Not all of them is always available. And you're also going to need something to wrap these wires around. And luckily for me, I've got um, an empty spool. Now, the problem is, if this is your first motor, then you're probably not going to have an empty spool lying around, so you are going to have to try and improvise and find something that'll work. But um, I'll just give you the dimensions of this spool, just so that we, or just so that you guys know, six centimeters, five centimeters. 1.5 centimeters. Those are the dimensions of the core of the spool that I'm using at the minute. And to make the coil, you'll need the two spools of wire, and they're normally sold something like this. Let me drop my spool as well. Oh, that's a pretty one, I think. Right, now I haven't had pink wire before. It comes in all different colours. It can come just copper coloured, or it can be um, red or green or um, I don't know any colour. Anyway, I've got a few different colours. Okay, so you have something to wrap the wires around, and you have your two spools of wire. And somewhere on there, there should be two loose ends. So loosen that up a bit. So one end and yeah here's the oh that's like in the hold of it. There we go. Now this is very very easy. Just um take two ends of coil and just pretend they're one coil basically. Well just pretend they're one wire. Now what you can do um to make this a little bit more efficient is you can always wrap the two wires together like that but the problem is you need uh, quite a few hundred feet of space so that you can stretch the wires out all the way and then you can use like a drill to spin these two wires together and that's much more efficient than just wrapping it um, loosely but you can do it that way there's no, no, no reason why you can't so on the spool, <coughs> on the spool there'll be a tiny little hole there, and I usually use that to put the two ends of the wire through. So go through like that, and yeah, you can just put both of the spools down, and the good grip of this wire, both the wires. You see that? and make sure you have enough loose on this end, maybe about 10 centimeters of loose cable and just start wrapping yeah, just wrap them both together so you wrap all the way along, I'm going to do this very loosely there we go now you want to take your time with this. I'm doing it very quickly just to show you. But uh, there we go. Right now, just to assume that I've wrapped all the way down. Once you get to the end, then you start wrapping the other way. So then we start going back. Like that. And like I say, you want to use at least 650 turns all together. But what I tend to do, and what's best, is just fill the spool all the way to the edges. Just completely fill the spool with as many coils as you can. And um, yeah, that's probably the best um, best coil you can make with one of these little spools. And like I say, in the center you have your little hole, which you use for the core. And you can stick um, welding rods down there, which Bedini recommends. But I am try this. So I don't know. They're probably better than what I'm using. I'm using um, iron filings mixed with glue, and then I put all the iron filings and the glue mixture into the center of the hole, 
and then leave it to set overnight and then that's basically like an iron core so there you go hopefully that explains a few things uh, good luck